a grown woman, okay? I have seen a lot of franchises and cartoons and movies and TV shows and comic books and whatever else that I enjoyed as a kid being revamped as modern versions. For the most part, I kind of don't like them, you know? Uh, there's been a few occasions where I've been, hmm, all right, okay, that's, that's pretty good. This is nice, I can enjoy this for the most part. But one that I was actually really excited about and really looking forward to seeing was revamped Ghostbusters with an all-female cast. I enjoyed Ghostbusters way back when, and that was always one of my dreams. I love the Ghostbusters. They're freaking awesome. And when I found out that a movie was gonna be released with all girls, with all women, <gasps> the smile on my face could not be contained. I was smiling like the Joker from ear to ear. Ah, 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 ah. Give me, I want, give me, give me, give me, I want it now, give me, give me now. But no, no, my joy and excitement and thrill had to be completely shat on. That was my mic, sorry. My thrill and enjoyment had to be shat on completely by whiny, whiny. Wow, these feminists, they're taking the media. The amount of boys and men that I have seen on social media whining and bitching and moaning and complaining about Ghostbusters being revamped with all girls is awe-inspiring. So awe-inspiring that it made me want to record a f***ing video just about that. I could understand if you were of the mind that you're sick and tired of revamps for the sake of being sick and tired of revamps, fine, fine, that I can understand because most of us are pretty sick and tired of revamps too. But if your only complaint is that the Ghostbusters team is now going to be all women and that's the reason you have a problem with it, you are sexist, okay? Look, there's just no getting around it. You're sexist. You're sexist. If that's your only issue with it, and it's not that it's, oh, it's going to be revamped, it's gonna suck, or uh, I'm not sure that you could really uh, do that storyline now without overdoing the CGI, or I wonder if they're gonna do practical effects, or what are the ghosts gonna look like? Fine, you know, those are valid concerns. And that's something that I'm kind of concerned with too, because, Back in, you know, back in the day, <laughs> special effects were very different. I'm honestly curious how they're going to modernize it and how far they're going to take it. Because why wouldn't there be another group of people to take up the mantle of the Ghostbusters? What, like after the last Ghostbusters movie, they just said, well, screw it. We, we don't need to look after these ghosts anymore. We don't have to go hunt ghosts anymore. Whatever. Who cares? No, it, I, I'm hoping that's what happens. I, and it would make sense, you know? Another team takes up the mantle of the original Ghostbusters and says, hey, why did this group suddenly disappear? We should carry on the legacy. And hopefully that's what happens. And it, it would make sense. It would make sense. But no. No, it's, it's the whole, oh, well, but you know, you can't compare to the original cast. No shit. No shit. Okay. The, the, most times you can't compare to the original. I mean, look at Poltergeist, for example. The original is a classic. Classic. And even with its little faults here and there, like maybe a little missed dialogues or whatever, it's still a classic. Okay. And it's a movie that to this day is still emulated. Like, whoa, it's emulated. And then you look at the modern take of it that came out, I think, 2014. 
And it sucks. It sucks because they took a very well-established idea and modernized it way too far and totally shit on it. And that kind of criticism I can understand. But if your only gripe is that the cast is female, all female, you're a sexist. Not only that, you're an But this is nothing new. This is nothing new. I have had to deal with this kind of shit. Women in general have had to deal with this shit for fucking years. It's, it's the toxicity of geek culture. You think that you own everything and you don't because I was right along there with you enjoying Ghostbusters, okay? This was not exclusive to you. And we get just one, one little bit of representation that gives us all women in a team that used to be all men. We don't care. We're gonna be happy anyway, because holy shit, all female Ghostbusters. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Aren't you excited? I'm so excited. I really hope they don't screw this movie up. And I'm hoping, hoping, for the love of God, use practical effects. Please, please, as much as you can, okay, try to keep the CGI to a bare minimum because that's how this movie is going to succeed. You need to focus on what was most important in the original Ghostbusters, which was the interaction, the com conversation between the four Ghostbusters, okay? That's what you need to focus on. And if you focus on that and make the jokes funny and entertaining and leave the CGI and the ghost effects and all that shit, as just, it's in there, but it's not the focus, I think the movie's gonna be a smash. I think so. I really think so. And hopefully it will be. And hopefully, all these whiny little piss babies who keep moaning and groaning about the new Ghostbusters being all women will be able to eat their words and we all get to laugh at them. you enjoyed the video and if you did please hit the little like button because it really does help and subscribe for future uploads if you've got any questions or comments please put them down below in the comment section thank you so much for watching